now it feels like we have a good idea of how to use the trig outputs. So let's start looking, looking at the, the CV outputs. And so for now, just to keep it simple, I'm just going to wire one of them up to the decay input. Let's just make it this one so I don't get a cable in the way of the screen. Decay should make it pretty easy for us to hear what's happening. I'm turning it all the way down there and then turning up a little attenuator there. So in theory now, if we change the, oh, I still have it. There we go. If we change the CV voltage output on uh, CV4, that should change the delay and we should be able to hear it. So we can try it. So CV4, set it to 10. Now almost nothing happened. And the reason for that is it turns out that internally to the teletype, it is operating with very small integer values only. So we can try something larger. We should be able to hear it. CV4, let's set it to 8,000. All right, there we go. Now we can hear there's a longer decay and we can see the light is lighting up. So what exactly does that mean? Well, integer values means that it doesn't understand fractions. So we can see that uh, immediately by doing something like trying to divide 10 by three. That should give us 3.33333 and so forth. We just get three back. So this means that the teletype, we have to figure out some way to help it do fractions of numbers. Otherwise, if we were, if it was to take the numbers between zero and 10 to set a voltage on the CV output between zero and 10 volt, which is what Eurorack operates within, then we'd only have those direct steps and we wouldn't be able to do anything smooth or anything uh, finely tuned. So, of course, Telesap has a solution for this, and the solution is a lookup table. So, you notice that if I wrote the value to CV4 that was relatively small, it essentially is close to zero. In fact, let's try setting it to zero and see if we can even hear a difference. And not really. So that's because the range of numbers that the teletype operates with is between zero and 16,383. So that's just the range of any value in the teletype. So what we need to do is convert that where zero means zero volts and 16,383 means 10 volt. And there's a couple of lookup tables that can help us with that. And the way we access those lookup tables is through another command called V. So V will take a number, if we give it zero, it'll look it up in the lookup table and then it'll give us what the right value is that we can set uh, the output to, to match that. So for zero, you know, that becomes just zero. Let's try 10. What do we get? We get the top of the range, 16,384. If we say we want five volt, we get about half that, or exactly half that. And so this makes it really easy for us to look up. If I want to set this to five volts, I can now just do CV output number four and I want to set it to five volts and just like that we have that but now we're back at the same problem what if I want to set it to 1.5 volts it doesn't understand fractions so to help us with that there is a second lookup table that simply has the numbers uh, multiplied. So instead of being between zero and 10, they are between zero and a thousand. And 
essentially they've just multiplied by 100, which means that by looking up into that, we get some granularity to it. So this command is called VV. And so we can try to do the same. 1,000 we now know is the top. So let's do VV 1,000. That once again gets us 16,384. VV of 500 gives us 8,192. And now, whereas before we couldn't do, we couldn't look for a number that matched the low voltage of 1.5, got unknown word. Well, now we know that 100 is the same as one volt, because it's multiplied by 100, which means 150 gives us exactly this. There we go. The correct value for 1.5 volt is 2,457. So that's useful. That makes it a lot easier to do these things. So let's try using this to set the CV output again. So we're setting CV4 and we're using VV150. Go up by 100. down a little bit and go up a tiny fraction more so this allows us some granularity when we're setting these outputs without having to either remember crazy numbers or use a crazy calculator or create our own table to look up into so these two commands, V and VV, are super useful for that. In a future video, we're going to look at the same kind of commands, but for looking into tables of pitch values. So there are equal tables that let you look into and say, I want a, a D in this octave, and it'll give us what the voltage or what the number is that will drive the right voltage for the one volt per octave pitch controls that we have in Eurorack. But for now, let's keep it at this. Uh, I hope this was useful and I look forward to returning with another video soon.